Hello and welcome to this special message designed specifically for those who feel they are among the chosen ones. If you're watching this, it's because there's something deep within you that resonates with the truth and power of what we're about to explore. Have you ever felt like there's something different about you? Something that sets you apart from others? Maybe you've wondered why certain things seem to happen to you, or why you carry this deep sense of purpose that others don't seem to understand. What if I told you that this isn't just a coincidence, but a sign, an unmistakable mark that you are among the chosen ones? Today, we're going to dive deep into what it means to carry this sign and how it could be the key to unlocking a life full of divine favor and incredible blessings. If you've ever felt like there's something more for you in this world, like you're meant for something greater, then this message is for you. Stay with me, because what I'm about to share could change everything. If this message doesn't seem to connect with you, that's perfectly okay. Feel free to move on. But if you're truly one of the chosen, prepare yourself for a revelation that will ignite a profound change in your life. Today, I'm here to share a powerful truth that's not just meant to inform, but to transform. My hope is that this message will light a fire within you, burning away doubts, fears, and the lies that may have clouded your spirit. We're diving into the concept of God's favor, a divine blessing that's not just a comforting thought, but a tangible reality you can experience daily. However, there's more to this favor than meets the eye. This favor is the sign carried by the chosen ones, a mark that sets them apart, a beacon of God's grace and purpose in their lives. To truly understand God's favor, we first need to grasp what it truly means. God's favor is His grace, His kindness, and His goodness poured out upon us abundantly. It's not something we can earn or deserve. Rather, it's a free gift given out of His immense love for us. In the Bible, we see numerous examples of God's favor at work. Take Noah, who found favor in the eyes of the Lord as described in Genesis 6-8. Or consider Mary, who was called highly favored by the angel Gabriel in Luke 1:28. These are not mere stories, but real examples of how God's favor manifests in the lives of His chosen ones. But what is the sign that marks the chosen ones? It's not something visible to the naked eye but it is unmistakable to those who are spiritually attuned. The sign is a deep sense of purpose, a calling that you cannot ignore. It's the unshakable belief that your life has meaning beyond the ordinary, that you are here for a reason, and that reason is aligned with God's divine plan. This sense of purpose is the first indicator that you carry the sign of the chosen. God's favor is the reason why doors open for you that no one can shut. It's why blessings seem to chase you down and overtake you. Even in the midst of trials and challenges, it's His favor that provides you with peace, joy, and hope. This favor is a testament to God's presence in your life, His support for you, and the incredible plans He has for your future. And this favor is another sign of the Chosen Ones. It's the manifestation of God's love and purpose, guiding and sustaining you through every season of life. However, it's crucial to understand that God's favor doesn't just happen automatically. It's not a random occurrence, but something that you must actively recognize, receive, and walk in by faith. One of the biggest obstacles to experiencing God's favor is failing to see it when it's right in front of you. Often, we become so absorbed in our problems and limitations that we overlook the blessings and opportunities that God has already placed in our lives. We miss the doors He has opened, the people He has strategically placed on our path, and the chances He has given us. And speaking of opportunities, if you're someone who's been seeking a way to attract more abundance into your life, this might be the moment you've been waiting for. Imagine being able to attract huge money effortlessly, starting today. It might sound too good to be true, but there's a secret revealed by a rogue NASA scientist that could unlock this potential for you. If you're curious to learn more, check the link in the comments below. This could be the door that God is opening for you right now, a chance to experience His favor in a whole new way. Now let's get back into the exploration. Today, I challenge you to open your eyes to the favor of God at work in your life. Look beyond the surface, beyond your difficulties, and see how God's hand is moving on your behalf. 
as Psalm 84.11 reminds us. For the Lord God is a sun and shield. The Lord will give grace and glory. No good thing will he withhold from those who walk uprightly. This means that God's favor is not just for the dramatic moments of life, but is present in the everyday ordinary experiences as well. Reflect on times when you were unexpectedly protected, blessed, or when a seemingly impossible situation turned in your favor. These are all manifestations of God's favor. Recognizing God's favor is just the beginning. The next step is to receive it. But how do you receive something that's already yours? The answer lies in faith. As Hebrews 11 to 6 states, But without faith it is impossible to please him. For he who comes to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. To receive God's favor, you need to believe that it is yours. Trust that God is good, that he loves you, and that he desires to bless you. Faith is not merely a passive belief, it is an active trust. It's about having confidence that God's favor is on your life and choosing to walk in that favor regardless of your circumstances. It's a bold declaration of being blessed and highly favored, and it involves a commitment to not settling for less than God's best for you. When you walk in faith, you position yourself to experience God's favor in extraordinary ways. You start to see doors open that were once closed, opportunities that were once hidden, and blessings that were once withheld. Faith also opens the door to miraculous occurrences in your life. Another sign that marks the chosen ones is unwavering faith. This isn't just any kind of faith, it's the kind that stands firm in the face of adversity, that refuses to be shaken by circumstances, and that holds onto God's promises no matter what. Unwavering faith is what sets you apart, it's what enables you to walk in God's favor even when everything around you seems to be falling apart. This faith is a testimony to the world that you are among the chosen, that God's hand is upon your life, and that His favor rests on you. Living with a spirit of expectation is crucial. Expecting God's favor means anticipating His blessings, provision, and goodness. This expectation isn't about demanding or presuming, but about having a confident assurance in God's promises. Mark 11.24 says, Therefore I say to you, Whatever things you ask when you pray, believe that you receive them, and you will have them. This means that when you pray, you should believe that God has already answered your prayer, even before you see the outcome. It's about living each day with the expectation that God's favor will manifest in your life and being ready to receive it. Expectation is more than just a feeling. It's a mindset. It involves a daily decision to trust in God's promises and stand firm on His word. When you cultivate this mindset, you create an environment where God's favor can flow freely. Your life becomes a testament to His blessings, and you open yourself up to greater levels of His goodness. To walk in God's favor, you must follow certain steps. First, practice obedience to God's word. Deuteronomy 28-1-2 tells us, Now it shall come to pass, if you diligently obey the voice of the Lord your God, to observe carefully all his commandments which I command you today, that the Lord your God will set you high above all nations of the earth, and all these blessings shall come upon you and overtake you. Obedience positions you to receive God's favor because it aligns you with his will and opens the door to his blessings. It's not just about following rules but about nurturing a relationship with God, seeking his will, listening to his voice, and living in a way that honors him. Second, walk in humility. James 4 to 6 says, God resists the proud but gives grace to the humble. Humility means recognizing that every blessing, every ounce of favor, comes from God and not from your own efforts. It's about acknowledging that without God, you have nothing. Humility isn't about thinking less of yourself, but about thinking of yourself less. When you walk in humility, you position yourself to receive even more of God's favor and create an atmosphere where His blessings can flow abundantly. Third, cultivate a heart of gratitude. In 1 Thessalonians 5.18, we're instructed, In everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Gratitude isn't just about saying thank you. It's about living with an attitude of thankfulness. 
It's about focusing on the blessings you've received rather than on your problems or limitations. When you live with gratitude, you open yourself up to more of God's favor and invite His presence into your life. Living in the overflow of God's favor means that the blessings don't just come to you. They flow through you to others. It's about being a vessel of God's goodness and using your blessings to bless others. Generosity with your time, resources, and love allows God's favor to continue flowing into your life in even greater measure. Luke 6.38 teaches, Give, and it will be given to you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over will be put into your bosom. For with the same measure that you use, it will be measured back to you. When you become a channel through which God's favor flows, you continue to receive even more of His blessings. Another key sign of the Chosen Ones is the ability to see beyond the immediate, to perceive the divine purpose in every situation. This spiritual insight is a gift that allows you to discern God's will and recognize His hand at work in your life, even in the midst of challenges. This discernment is what guides you to make decisions that align with God's plan and ensures that you walk in His favor continuously. However, it's important to remember that walking in God's favor does not mean you will be free from challenges. In fact, favor can sometimes attract opposition. The enemy doesn't want you to experience or walk in God's favor because he understands the impact it can have on your life and the lives of others. Yet, even in the face of opposition, God's favor will sustain you. It will provide protection, guidance, and strength to overcome every obstacle. As Isaiah 54, 17 assures, No weapon formed against you shall prosper, and every tongue which rises against you in judgment you shall condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is from me, says the Lord. God's favor is not just for your personal benefit. It has a purpose. It's intended to bring glory to God and advance His kingdom. When you walk in God's favor, your life becomes a living testimony of His goodness and grace. It's a beacon of hope for others, drawing them to the love and power of God. As Matthew 5, 14, 16 reminds us, You are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hidden, nor do they light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on a lampstand, and it gives light to all who are in the house. Let your light so shine before men, that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. In closing, I encourage you to embrace the favor of God in your life. Recognize it, receive it, and walk in it by faith. Expect His blessings, live with a spirit of gratitude, and use your blessings to bless others. Even in the face of challenges, Trust that God's favor will sustain you and turn every trial into a testimony of His faithfulness. Your life is meant to shine as a testimony of God's goodness, drawing others to Him. Let's take a moment to pray together. Heavenly Father, we come before you with hearts full of gratitude and humility, acknowledging your boundless grace and favor in our lives. We thank you for the blessings you have poured out upon us and for the favor that surrounds us each day. Lord, help us to recognize your hand at work in our lives, to receive your favor with open hearts, and to walk in faith, expecting your goodness and provision. Strengthen us to live with a spirit of gratitude, humility, and generosity, using our blessings to bless others and bring glory to your name. We also lift up those who are in need of healing, physical, emotional, or spiritual. Touch their lives with your healing power and comfort, Guide us through the week ahead and let your favor continue to flow abundantly in our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. If this message has touched your heart and you feel led to support our mission to spread God's word and share his message of favor, please consider making a donation. Your support helps us continue this important work and reach more people with the transformative power of God's favor. Thank you for spending this time with me today. My prayer is that you leave with a renewed sense of God's incredible favor in your life, feeling uplifted and ready to embrace all that He has in store for you. Remember, you are chosen, you are loved, and you are destined for greatness. As you go through your day, may His blessings overflow in every area of your life, and may you feel His presence guiding you always. Stay blessed, stay favored, 
and know that you are never alone on this journey. Until next time, take care and keep shining your light.